Today, we're going to talk about journey mapping. Journey mapping can sometimes be a little bit of a controversial topic because um, what actually gets mapped? What are the different steps along that map? And then finally, what's the like proper way to visualize how people move through digital experiences when it can be wild how many directions they can go? And <clears throat> there have been a lot of different attempts to arrive at a coherent and universally informative visualization for user journeys. Um, they've been everything from sunburst charts to tree charts to Sankey diagrams. The problem is the more data you're trying to model, the more data dense the visualization becomes. And then you can have, it's very easy to lose the signal of what actually matters in that map. So today I want to show you how Full Story thinks about journey mapping and how we've layered on some additional machine intelligence to help Help, help you see the, the forest through the trees when you're generating these journey maps and using them to uh, understand how users move through your experiences. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over here to journeys and I'm gonna use the, uh, on cargo, I'm gonna use the, the driver starting from the home page. Now, this visualization that you see here is a combination of both page navigations as well as things people clicked on. So you can see that by and large, the primary path that people move down is landing on the home page, going to the header bar, engaging with a modal, clicking on a sign up button, and then logging in, right? That's the most common path. Now, this is just one of lots of different journeys that are possible when you land, when a driver lands on the home page of Cargo. So what Full Story has done is we've actually made it easier for you to understand where and when majorities of uh, of users interact with your digital experience. So I'm going to create a new journey map and we're going to start with a page and we're going to use, let's say, I'm gonna do the home page. All right, I'm gonna do the home page and then I'm going to click explore. This is gonna give me a journey map for this user experience. Now, and this is going to give me a journey map of people as they interact and move from page to page. But maybe I want to include some different event types. Let's also include the things people click on and maybe our API defined events. Now this is now giving me another experience and another journey map. Maybe I want to hide my AB testing events in here. And you'll notice right up here, Full Story has introduced a new capability called popular paths. Popular Paths takes all of the population that enters through the entry point of the journey, and then we only look for paths that constitute more than five, six, seven percent of the total population. Okay, so if I click here, you're gonna see there are two popular paths. This one right here represents 18% of total traffic. This one represents 16% of total traffic. So let's choose this 16% one and I'm going to apply that. Now, this one kind of makes sense because it's directly across the top most commonly visited pages and click interactions for all the users. But the 18% one is actually a little different. This actually jumps down and you'll see that even though hit the sign up button, there's a number of people that then either abandon the experience or continue on in you know, 200 sessions that continue on elsewhere the vast majority of them move on to this login experience. If I were to dynamically, maybe just drop out my click events here, you're gonna see, okay, now we've got a slightly different journey and I can look at the popular paths that users go down for this journey. And you can see this second most popular path constitutes 11% of all the population who enters into this journey from page to page, landing on the home page, and then moving on to the favorites page, going to a product page, and then all the way down here to, to other pages. And you can see when they land on this product page, this also includes 67% of people who follow this path end up abandoning the experience. Now, <clears throat> the reason this is so helpful is that what where many platforms will move on from whether it be a sunburst the problem with sunburst is that a lot of times it's very difficult when uh, future steps in a journey actually end up converging from multiple source points 
The problem with Sankey diagrams is that the, the more data points you add to that diagram, the more data dense the diagram becomes. It becomes hard to see actually where the signal is. Popular Paths is Full Story's approach to layering in machine intelligence so that when you generate your journeys, what you're left with is immediately highlighted paths that represent a large consortium of the population that enters into that path to begin with. So thanks so much. Hopefully this is helpful.